Hey guys, how are you? I'm Michelle Lucchese. This is my friend Kara Eldred. Hi, I'm Kara. <laughs> um, we're coming to you live from Marina Del Rey to talk about some essential oils. Yeah. Yeah, so let's get started. So um, I got into essential oils. It's kind of a weird story. Um, I wanted to find, I, I'm very crafty, and I wanted to find um, some oils that I could blend into teas. I wanted to do some tea blending. And I especially really love Earl Grey tea, so I was looking for a bergamot scent, which is an essential oil that people add to tea to make it Earl Grey tea. Mm -hmm. That's the Earl and the Earl Grey. And um, yeah, so I started looking and I wanted to find um, a product that was safe to ingest because a lot of the essential oils that you see on the market are actually just for aromatherapy kind of purposes, you know, mm -hmm. toss it in a bath or it smells really fun and that kind of thing, you know, so I wanted something a little bit more higher grade. So um, yeah, so I got into these crazy oils and now I'm obsessed and I, I can't look back. <laughs> Kara, how did you get into it? Well, I learned about it through my sister. She started using these oils when she had her first baby because she didn't want like any chemicals around the baby. Sure. Um, made sense. And I was excited that my sister had a hobby. That was her baby. thing. Yeah. And a baby. <laughs> um, it wasn't really my thing. I wasn't really interested. To me, it seemed a little like hocus pocus. Um, but one day I went over. I had a bad manicure. And one of my fingers swelled up really bad. It was so painful, I couldn't figure out what to do for it. And then my sister suggested that I put lavender oil on it, um, which I thought was weird because I thought that lavender was only used, you know, to calm you down and help you sleep and to dab a little on your pillow. Uh, sure enough, put some lavender on my finger and it was completely back to normal in like an hour. Amazing. Um, so then I told my sister, all right, you know, tell me more about these oils. I'm definitely interested now. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, we'll talk a lot about different oils later, but mm -hmm. lavender, I was really shocked that it just had, a uh, so many uses for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how many there are exactly, but, uh, it's definitely become like one of my go-tos and favorite oils to use. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I have to say too, you know, one of the things I love about lavender is its calming effects. And I put it on before I go to bed most nights, like just a dab here, a little bit of this, kind of like where you put perfume, you know? Yeah. It's just yeah. nice to like have that scent. And it's just like really like a nice warm blanket to cuddle up with. I really love it. But it's more than a nice it warm is, blanket. It is. So <laughs> it totally is. Actually, a friend of mine was having this weird eye twitch because she was super stressed out. She's like in a very high stress job. And um, I, I was like, you know, I don't know. I think Kara told me that this might work for an eye twitch so we put like a little bit of lavender right here for her totally took the eye twitch away and I had a sty too and I remember I called Kara and I was like oh I have a sty and I had a photo shoot the next day I was like oh my god what am I gonna do with stupid sty and she was like you know put a little lavender here and it worked perfectly next day no sty so that stuff is pretty amazing. Anyway, we digress. But <laughs> I just want to start off by saying, you know, we're not medical professionals. We're not trying to cure anything or treat anything. All we're trying to do in this webinar is tell you guys about some great oils that we've found that have helped us in our lives. And so we're just sharing our experience. Um, but I'm not a doctor. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll start with that. We'd love to know why you guys are here. I mean, we're certainly going to cover a lot of topics related to winter blues and the flu season and all that stuff. But would love it if you guys would jump in and sort of tell us, you know, why you're here. And we can be sure to answer those questions if you have any. So feel free to, to jump in at any point and, you know, we'll sort of figure yeah, out. You should be able to, you know, type and engage with us. Yeah. Yeah, feel Hopefully free. My grandma's out there. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Grandma Beth? Grandma Shirley. Oh, hi, Grandma Shirley. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And also, we're going to do some free gifts, too, and we're going to do a raffle at the end. So um, for those of you that uh, stick around to the end, we're going to be doing a raffle for which one did we decide to do the raffle for? It's great fruit. fruit. Right. Which, uh, it's awesome. Yeah, I have a grapefruit right it's here. It's more than just a fruit that you mm -hmm. eat for breakfast. It is. Tell us about grapefruit, yeah. Well, I was kind of drawn to this when I read that it was good for um, cellulite. Right. So I've added some grapefruit into like a plant-based lotion that I have. Mm -hmm. And I rub vigorously every morning. <laughs> Yeah, I Is mean, I anything? think, I mean, I feel like it's helping a little bit, okay. um, but it's just a great oil. I just, I never even thought grapefruit could be an oil. So, yeah, yeah I actually use it in my cleaning. Um, I had some scuffs. I don't know if you guys can see my counter here, but it's, it's like very a, clean. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. It's like a, um, I think it's called Caesar stone on the counter. 
and we had some scuffs from like some luggage or just some like rougher stuff that we had up here. And I took a little grapefruit oil to get it off and it just came right off, which is pretty amazing. But also, I mean, I just love the scent of grapefruit. I actually make deodorant with it. Um, and yeah, and some people say it's great for weight loss. I haven't tried that sort of thing, so I'm not really sure, you know, if that's effective or whatever, but yeah, I'll try it. Yeah, why not, right? I'll try anything. Yeah. And actually, um, you know, as we start to talk about this stuff too, I, we should sort of point out there's certain ways to use the oils. So there's Oh yeah, three, so we'll tell them like yeah. what's going to happen in the next oh, yeah, 45 minutes, right? Let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. <laughs> See you, Carol. <laughs> Thanks. So, um, like Michelle was about to say, uh, we're basically going to cover some basics for these oils, you guys. We're going to kind of break down how you use the oils um, and some popular oils that you can use for the winter blues. Mm -hmm. uh, so many uses for them, you guys, but like I said, we're really going to try to touch on a few. And then we'll kind of wrap up, kind of tell you uh, how you can get the oils yourself. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, answer any questions that you have. Yep. But it sounds like I don't. Did we, have we heard from some people or something? No, we haven't. We just we now are officially set up. Oh, okay, very <laughs> We're good. We're having a little technical difficulty, but now the questions can come in. Roll them on it. Okay. So if you asked anything before, I'm sorry we didn't receive it, but now we will. Yeah, ask it again. So yeah, ask it again. Very good. Okay. Um. So, uh, so. what is an essential oil? So essential oils are basically like a very concentrated version of whatever it is that you're buying. So for instance, like lavender, what was my figure? I think, I think there's like mm, 27 square feet of lavender, like wild lavender in this bottle in one bottle, which is crazy, you know? Um, or like the lemon it's, um, I think it's, oh gosh, how many was it? It's rinds. I think it's like 15 lemon rinds in this one bottle. And what's so amazing, I mean, I'll get to this later. I'm just like obsessed with lemon, but like I've been, I'm engaged. Yeah, so yeah, I do love this color, but I've been, um, uh, trying different wedding cakes cause I'm gluten free. So I've been trying like different recipes and because she's getting married. Oh yeah. I just said, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I've been trying different flavors and of course, since I wanted to find oils that were food grade, you know, and, um, or it's called generally, uh, safe to use in food, something like that. Anyway, generally regarded as safe. That's what it is. Generally regarded as safe. So I've been using a lot of lemon oil to do lemon cakes because yellow is one of my colors in the wedding. So just saying, yeah. anyway, so many things to say about, but basically it's just a concentrated oil and there's so many things you wouldn't think would be an essential oil, like, you know, oregano, you know, we've talked about. Mm -hmm. I mean, who would think? Or basil, or I have Clo carrot seed. Clove. Cloves, yeah, mm -hmm. cloves. But yet, I mean, not only are they amazing in cooking, but they also do have these, you know, sort of medicinal, if you will, properties, you know? Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you can also use them with um, pets, with cleaning, with babies, and pest problems we've come across too. I mean, there's quite a few uses. Uh, but yeah. Let's um let's jump into how to use them. So there's three different ways to use an essential oil, okay? You can diffuse it in the diffuser. Can you see me? Very nice. <laughs> yes, that's diffuser. <laughs> so what happens here is you just add, there's sort of a line in the diffuser. I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's a line in the diffuser where you add water and then you just pop a few drops of what it is that you're trying to diffuse. Um, and one to two drops can go a really long way. Um, we'll talk more about that, but I know you might think that's a really little bottle that you're holding up there. Um, but one one drop is very concentrated. It's true. And then um, we'll talk about topically. So it's the second way. So topically, you can put something on. There's two different ways you can do something topically. So neat means to just take it like so and dab, dab. So I'm not diluting it at all. So that's called neat, right? Okay, so if you want to dilute something, which actually is really good if you want to spread something out really well, like for instance, the cellulite, um, for, or the grape from cellulite. Sorry, I'm like pointing at you saying cellulite. Sorry. Yeah, of course you don't have it anymore. I don't either. Anyway, but taking, um, if you were to take the grapefruit, like I would say put a carrier oil with it to mm -hmm. get it to spread really well, you know, and then massage or whatever it is that you're doing. Exactly. Um, so it's nice if you need to dilute it for like a baby or somebody who's super sensitive to stuff, or if you just want to like really get it spread well. Uh, so ways that you can dilute the oil are with carrier oils. 
And here are just some examples. Like there are a million different examples of carrier oils. A lot of bloggers talk about grapeseed oil, mm -hmm. which I don't cook with, so I don't have it around, but you can certainly use that. Um, I happen to use jojoba oil for anything that I'm going to put on my face because that's pretty awesome. And even it by itself to remove makeup is pretty yeah. amazing. Um, coconut oil, which is like a cure-all for, I'm sorry, not cure-all. It's a, it's a help-all for mm -hmm. a million things. Um, so it's really great to have coconut oil around anyway. And if you're making something that's like a solve, you know, like your cellulite spread, <laughs> if you will. Are we so, going to talk about my cellulite? Why were we talking about your cellulite? I'm so sorry. But <laughs> I'm not sorry, actually. This is a great example. But you can make like a nice solve with um, coconut oil and just a few drops of uh, grapefruit, you know, for carousel mm -hmm. <laughs> And you can get those anywhere, you guys. Um, any kind of local store it's not yeah. one particular brand of anything totally and i just have um olive oil as well as another example um okay oh, shannon good. wants to know what oil company we are representing okay so we're representing young living oils that's uh the company that we use um there are a million different oil companies out there and you can certainly do your you know your own research on who it is that you want to use uh, I went with Young Living because I, you know, like I said, I was looking for something that had that sort of food grade quality. Um, and in my looking for that, I found that there were like basically three different ways that you can um, choose an oil company. You know, there's sort of like these aromatherapy companies and then there's organic companies. Both of those you can kind of find in Whole Foods. But what I wasn't finding there and what I wanted was a therapeutic um, essential oil. And so there are a handful of companies that do do therapeutic oils. Um, and just through my own research and my own experience, I chose Young Living. So yeah. And what's great about Young Living is they have this seed to seal guarantee. And that's one of the reasons that I chose them too. They have control over like the product from the seed to the seal of the bottle, which is fantastic, you know, and they do have it tested by a third party just to make sure it's, you know, effective and that sort of thing, which is nice. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to add to that? No. No. Okay. No. Cool. And I think we're going to jump into the last way that you use the oil, yes, right? Yes, please do. Mm -hmm. um, so you can ingest it. Uh, that's your third way to um, to use an oil. So, for instance, lemon is really fun. I have, you know, acid problems um, in my belly. Me too. Yeah, super fun. <laughs> super fun. And what's really great in a pinch is you take a drop of this guy and, you know, a cup of water and like it really helps my acid, which is fantastic. Uh, so that's a way to ingest it. You can certainly do that with any of, not any, I would say like probably 80% of the oils you can ingest. And it's very, they're very specific on the bottles to say like, you know, how you can use it. There's also other charts and stuff to see, um, which I reference a lot because I do tend to ingest them. I also make um, pills out of them. Like in Whole Foods, you can buy a plastic bag full of gelatin pills or vegan pills if you're vegan and you can just open the capsule and like put a couple drops along with a carrier oil which i right. typically use my extra virgin olive oil just because i have it around um and that's really easy to you know make especially if you don't like the flavor of the oil that's really nice like there are some oils that i want to use for certain things but i i don't really like the taste or i don't want to smell like that oil so if i put it in the pill form you know it's easier yeah what you yeah. It's like taking garlic pills, but you have to like choose the right garlic pill because that can Ugh. that can come back on you. <laughs> um, yeah, has anybody had any experience with um, other brands? You know that they've been uh, you know enjoying, or is anybody out there also a Young Living person or interested in Young Living? Uh, you know, let us know if you have any specific Young Living questions as we go along here too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, cool, we did that already. Uh, yeah, has anybody used uh, an essential oil before? Is there anything you guys want us, to, you know, to know, or do you want to pop in and say, oh yeah, I love, um, you know, lemon for its cleaning properties, or I use um, peppermint to get rid of ants, you know, in my kitchen or something like that. We would love to hear that kind of stuff. So just let us. Yeah, know we want to hear what you've used and what your experience is. Yeah, been like too. Yeah, and it'll help us just sort of like, you know. Uh, talk about other things related to that too that might help you or like if you have that oil in your possession we can talk about how further you can use it you know exactly cool Alrighty, oh. so let's talk about the flu let's talk about the flu yeah it's such a fun thing to talk about it's super yeah. fun yeah <laughs> love the flu if not 
So I really hate flu shots. Um, I just, on um, many principles, I just don't like want to have to get a flu shot for many reasons. I also am a little lazy about having to go get the flu shot and then the pain and there's like, there's yeah. too much involved, you know? So um, that was another, another thing that I got really excited about with the oils, about finding ways to sort of strengthen my immune system. Because also the whole point of essential oils is to strengthen the body's balance, you know, to bring the body back into balance so that it's not off balance and then therefore you're needing all kinds of like medicine and crazy stuff so it's nice to once you start to sort of you know go down the rabbit hole of this stuff you're like oh wait oh I have, there's an oil for that there's an oil for this you know there's an oil for everything which is super fun um so on the winter stuff um well yeah. for the flu stuff i mean like we said you guys there are so many oils out there and we're really just highlight highlighting a few um, and we're gonna provide some extra information for you so you don't have to remember all this right. stuff we'll give you some other materials so you, that you can look back on yeah um, Kara made this amazing like quick reference guide so we'll send you that too um, when we follow up yeah so uh, yeah let's talk about this guy first thieves would you like to start talking about thieves? I know you love it well mm -hmm. thieves is a blend and you'll hear mm -hmm. Here I say that a lot. Um, lavender, obviously, is just lavender oil. And then words that maybe don't make sense to you, like thieves, <laughs> uh, that's a blend of a number of oils. And everything, like Michelle said, is on the back of the bottle to kind of break down what's in it. And I forget exactly what is in this bottle. And I'm not It's very pumpkin y. So it's got um, clove and it has rosemary, which is kind of strange. Uh, I, and there's cinnamon. I don't believe there's nutmeg. Clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. Yeah. And it smells like Christmas. Totally smells like Christmas. Mm -hmm. Like you, you start to smell it and you're like, oh, is it Thanksgiving? No, it's Christmas. It's, it's like Christmas. full on Christmas, um, which is amazing. <laughs> but it also is really great for your immune system. Yeah. Great for the immune system. If you feel like you've got the sniffles coming up, a little cold, you can use it in a couple ways by just putting a little bit on the tip of your nose, inhaling it, um, just putting a little bit on the inside of your wrists as well. Uh, as we mentioned before, you could put it on topically and there are certain spots on your body that kind of help absorb the oils a little more quickly. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it's nose, temples. Uh -huh. This isn't the temple, this is <laughs> uh, behind your ears, your wrists. Uh -huh. And the bottom of your feet, bottom of your feet can also great. be really great as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bottom of your feet is particularly great for people who are super sensitive to things or, um, you know, if you just sort of need like an overall kind of body thing. But again, you don't really want to like smell like that oil for whatever reason. Um, like my fiance has trouble sleeping and so I'll like rub his feet with, you know, some of the oils that are great for sleeping, which we'll do another webinar about that sometime because there's many of them. Um, but yeah, so that's just kind of nice because then he doesn't have to smell like that the next day, but it's you know, doing its uh, its job there. Yeah. Nice. Many other uses for thieves. Mm -hmm. We want, we don't want to get really off track with you guys because mm -hmm. we really want to value your time too. So like I said, we'll send you some additional information with more ways that you can use it. Yeah. yeah. And I just want to quickly say about thieves too before we move on is what's interesting about it is it started as a, um, a bunch of gypsies, you know, during the Black Plague. Oh, yes, the story. Yeah, the story thieves. behind thieves. So these uh, these thieves, if you will, they were, you know, gypsies of the time, uh, were going through and, like, stealing from all the dead who were, you know, part of the Black Plague. And people couldn't understand why they weren't getting sick, you know, when they were around all these sick people. All the gypsies. Right, right mm -hmm. exactly. And it was because they were wearing, I think either they were like wearing it topically, I don't know that we know how they were wearing it, but they were wearing this um, combination of oils. So it became known as thieves and tends to be great for immune system, amongst other things. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, RC. So, oh, and Shirley, we got your note. Thank you so much. I totally will get to that in a moment. Um, Shirley was asking about arthritis. So oh that yes, going. that's yeah. my grandma. Yeah, hey, grandma. Hi, <laughs> so um, the next one is RC. RC was sort of formulated for colds and flu, which mm -hmm. is fantastic. It's another blend, and this one has. Is this one like the Vicks? Yeah, Vicks it is. Vapor Rub. It kind totally of is. Like yeah, that. here, take a sniff. It has eucalyptus in it. <sighs> yeah, I wish you guys could smell this stuff. It's pretty yeah. awesome. It has like a very eucalyptus and like lemon smell to it is kind of what it's giving off um but yeah so it's eucalyptus myrtle oil 
marjoram, pine leaf, um, lavender, cypress, blue spruce, and peppermint. Yeah. Um, and this is really amazing to help with chest congestion and colds and flu. It's sort of like, yeah, very much a Vicks kind of situation. And it would be great to kind of, you know, just kind of hit it right there and even on your throat, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. What's next? Peppermint. Peppermint. <sighs> peppermint. I'm not going to lie. I keep peppermint with me everywhere I go. Mm, I do too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have it in my purse because it's useful for so many different things. But in terms of the winter flu and blues, um, it's great to uplift you. Um, it's great if you have bad breath and you could just want to like pop a little bit on your hand. You've got to be careful because it's very potent. But just you know, one drop, you yeah, guys. Yeah, one drop, really. Or like a drop Don't make a water. mistake, I did. Yeah, really. You'll be like, <laughs> nah. And actually, if you do make a mistake like that, don't hit it with water. The the way to sort of counteract if you've overdone an oil is to add more plain oil. So then you would go to like a carrier oil, like you know, your olive oil or something like that. So just <laughs> douse yourself with some olive oil if you have too much pepper in. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, also really useful for congestion. Um, really excellent. Say you're all stuffed up and you're trying to go to sleep and you're you know snoring, you're a mess. Really great to sort of like hit you on the nose, you know, or like on the cheeks. I find anything that's going to kind of diffuse like to your nose. Okay. Yeah, I put it on my temples a lot. Yes. Um, I mean, especially like for headaches, if I'm yes. just feeling like a general achiness all over. Yes. Um, and just to go with achiness, if you're kind of feeling flu-like and you have that achiness all over your body, that's a great one to put maybe one or two drops in the palm of your hand and add that carrier oil and just rub where those trouble spots are. Yeah, especially too, when you start to feel something coming on, um, I like back of the neck too for that, mm -hmm. you know, just a little dab of peppermint on the back of the neck. It kind of just like brings you back to reality, which is nice. Um, so the next one is lavender, which we were kind of discussing before that has so many amazing uses, but how do you um, love it or why do you love it for the winter blues? I mean, what I would really use this for, for the winter blues, like you guys know, this is great for calming you. I like to diffuse lavender, mm -hmm. um, especially if, if I'm not feeling well and I really need to get a good night's sleep. It really helps me to relax. I know that uh, what else can you use it for, for the flu? For the flu, I would say, um, I wouldn't say it's it's like particular to the flu. I'm not quite sure why why we added it, but I think, well. Probably just because it's awesome it's all amazing, the way around. Yeah. But, but lavender is known, sort of yeah, about. like an antihistamine um, that you can use for uh, scrapes and nicks. Yeah. And like, I had an awful paper cut. Mm. And if you don't know, I have really awesome hands. <laughs> And She's I'm a hand technically model. a hand model, so <laughs> I do use it a lot to just to kind of put on any nicks that I have mm -hmm. on my hands or cuts or scrapes. Mm -hmm. That's true. And I, I'm now remembering, too, the reason that I wrote it down for this, too, is because if you are finding that your sort of flu-like symptoms are actually allergies of some sort, this is mm. sort of good for allergies. And um, I saw a blog where this girl, like a video blog, where she was talking about how she just kind of swiped it across her face. You know, and that that really helped kind of open her, um, you know, her sinuses and, and just helped her. So yeah, yeah. a good combo for allergies is lavender, lemon, and peppermint. And I actually Ooh. I put that behind my ears every morning because I was popping a Zyrtec every day, Ooh. and figured I'd try this, and it really did help me. There are definitely other oils you can try for allergies, yeah. but this has been a great combo for me, so I'm sticking wow. with it. That's a great one. Yeah, huh. and actually. Um, just to sort of give you an idea when you talk when we talk about blending things together because you can you know you can buy blends but you can also blend your own things like Kara was saying she takes those three oils and blends them together um, you can buy things like this not that you have to buy something like this you can buy whatever it is that you want to put it in but I really like I just got this on Amazon and it's just a bottle with a little roller and you can put a bunch of carrier oil in there which I would do like jojoba or olive oil in here mm -hmm. and then you know whatever oils you want to have and then you have this in your purse and you can you know, hit it wherever you want to hit it. Just fantastic. And that's, that's another allergy medicine great. right there. Yeah. yeah. Um, All right. What's allergy the next one we yes. have? Next one. Okay. So now oh. we're talking about mood lifters. So um, we've gone through all of our favorites that are great for your immune system. And um, now we just want to talk about, you know, the winter blues. I mean, like who gets a little sad, 
you know, I mean, we're living in Southern California. Well, we so lose we an hour this weekend, so I'm oh, a little sad. Oh, God, this weekend? So now oh. it's darker earlier, and you're driving home yeah. when it's dark out, and you still have a million things to do. Yeah. When I get home, I definitely want to diffuse something to give me a little energy, a little perk, and these are some great ideas that we have for you guys. I think up first we have is it Was lemon. lemon? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about lemon. So lemon is very uplifting, and actually we can talk about these together. Lemon and grapefruit are very similar uh, in what they help with, you mm -hmm. know. Any sort of citrus oil is going to kind of wake you up a little bit. What was the one that you was citrus fresh? I citrus think? fresh. Mm -hmm. Remember when you played soccer when you were a kid and you always had orange slices? And you're like, why are we always eating orange slices? Because they give you energy. So oh. think of all mm -hmm. those citrus oils like that. It's going to give you that boost of energy yeah, that you need. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, that's true. My anecdote for it actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, these are also great for cleaning and a million other uses, but for this particular thing, you know, they're great for mood lifting as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, highest potential. So highest potential. Will you read what is in that one? This is a blend that Young Living puts out. Oh wow. Yeah, it has a lot of things in it. Um, it basically smells like a perfume, um, but what's really excellent about it is it's supposed to help mm -hmm. with your confidence level and you know just kind of like just kind of making you like it's you got a bad day kind of making you feel better about the whole situation and i gotta say the few times that i've used it when that's been happening because sometimes i'll just do it anyway but the few times that it's actually that i've done it you know when i've been in one of those sad times it actually really has it helped a lot me better. yes yeah i did feel better yeah yeah, this is a pretty intense blend in a mm -hmm. good, I mean intense in a good way. Uh, looks like we've got blue cypress, ylang ylang. <laughs> nice. I don't know if that's yeah, right. Um, jasmine, lavender, galbanum, geranium, frankincense, blue tansy, black spruce, cinnamon and rose. Wow. And white, white fur. So there are a lot of oils in there. Yeah. And cool. it definitely smells, like she said, kind of really rich. And, mm -hmm. yeah. What would you say, excuse me, what would you say it smells like? Do you have like a, anything that's coming out for you? This is actually, this is, this is a compliment, but it smells, it reminds me of my grandma's perfume. Grandma Shirley? Yeah. Hey, grandma like back Shirley. in the day, like I smell it and I think of my grandma Aww, a little bit. Um, that's nice. But that's what it reminds me of. Oh, very cool. Um, so now we're going to talk about cedar wood, which is Kara's favorite. <laughs> so talk to us about the grounding properties of cedarwood that you're finding. Well, you guys I have to tell you, I got this oil because I saw it was good for, for eczema and I wanted to get it for a friend of mine. But after I purchased it, I looked it up and there were all these uses of cedarwood. And one was the fact that it can really kind of ground you and kind of put your anxiety at bay. And I don't know about you, but Sunday night comes and I kind of get a little anxious about the work week. Sure. I just think about all the things that I need to do. So I put two drops of this in my palm every morning and take five deep breaths. Um, sometimes my roommate's like, what's going on in there? Uh, but it really just kind of helps me kind of have like that moment to myself. And when you inhale these oils, you guys, it does like have a reaction in your brain mm -hmm. to really stimulate those feelings to make you feel uplifted. So I use this every single day and I think it's a great um, it's a great oil just to have on hand it's like lavender and lemon you can use it for a million things yeah yeah this is another one where like if you just have it in your purse it really does have a million uses you know you have a cut or a scrape you can do cedar wood on that too and I actually even like off topic here for a second I throw it into my shampoo because my hair is starting to thin a little bit and so it's great for it looks great tonight why thank you it's supposed to be great for thinning hair so i just started doing that i can get back to you on whether that's good or not <laughs> but i've been enjoying that um and i love the smell of it too it's really it's woodsy but in a chill way you know it's not like yeah. woodsy you know it's like something like a woman could still wear and not feel mannish about you know a man could wear too a man Men should be wearing these too. It's true. Using them too. It's true. And they're actually, there's a whole bunch of men's specific oils too. Like there's Mr. and some other ones that are supposed to like boost a man's confidence and that sort of thing. I haven't tried any of them, obviously, but and my fiance hasn't tried any of them, but uh, maybe he should. Oh, yeah. He'll be hosting the next webinar. Yes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> totally right. He's behind a camera right yeah. now. I'm just <laughs> wondering why. That's so funny to us. Okay. Super fun. Um, 
Okay, so uh, this is uh, for Jessen's Plus. And what I like about this one, it's uh, formulated kind of like a yam cream. So it's supposed to be um, to help rebalance the hormones, you know, especially if your estrogen levels have gotten out of whack or your progesterone. So it's it's like a progesterone kick if you're needing more progesterone in your life, which I was needing at one point, which is um, why I purchased it. But it really did sort of like help balance that. And if you're finding that during these winter months that that is something that's getting off you know with you as your cycle and kind of your hormonal like well-being that might be something to kind of look into as well as the progestins something yeah else. i've known a few women who have who have used this and have really enjoyed it mm -hmm. yeah. um was that it for those ones yeah we talked about that oh you Enjoy. know what we forgot to talk about grandma Shirley. we forgot to talk about frankincense i'm so sorry this is what i was so excited to tell you about this is one of the oils I was going to talk about with flu season. So let's talk about that real quick, actually, what frankincense breaks down for, for flu season. Yes. So <laughs> I was like, it's okay. It's okay. So, so frankincense is a million, has a million uses, just like, you know, lavender and lemon. There are several oils that really literally you could have like 10 of them in your purse and, and you know, be able to sort of like fix any imbalance on your body, which is nice. Um, so what I love about the frankincense for this season is it has the ability, supposedly, to help or support your body in times of infection. Mm -hmm. So uh, what's awesome about it is you could take, you know, a drop or so in one of those pills that I was talking about earlier with the carrier oil, you know, and it becomes something that is sort of like healing you in that way, you know, as opposed to like running to the doctor if you feel like it's something that, you know, you can combat at home. And that was another reason I really like went down the rabbit hole with these oils because not only are there so many uses, but I, I very much like to solve things on my own. I sometimes think that I'm smarter than doctors, which is not entirely fair to them. Um, but I really enjoy having that empowerment really, you know, mm -hmm. as a, as a consumer, you know, it's, it's hard to know what you're getting into. So I enjoy, you know, using these things for that kind of purpose. Yeah. Um, and I know um, Grandma Shirley was asking about yes. you know, arthritis exactly. and, and aches and pains, and I think that kind of goes hand in hand with the flu and just feeling under the weather. Yes. Um, I'll say my favorite, mm. my favorite thing to use for aches and pains is a blend of deep relief, which we don't have right here, but that's essentially, I believe, wintergreen and peppermint. If you guys think of like Bengay mm -hmm. and like that strong smell of Bengay, mm -hmm. that's what deep relief is. So I'll use that a lot, um, especially when it's that time of the month and I'm having a lot of cramps and discomfort. Right. I'll just put, they actually have it in roll on form. So I'll roll it on my belly. If I'm having, you know, kink in my neck, rub it there. And um, especially I think too, if you're sitting at a computer all day, mm -hmm. you do have arthritis or carpal tunnel. It's um, good to rub, rub on you mm -hmm. and kind of feel that instant, instant relief. Absolutely. And what's neat about frankincense, um, just to run back to that for a quick sec, is that it's supposed to help with swelling. And my mom mm -hmm. has arthritis and has been on all kinds of, you know, crazy drugs for it throughout the years. And I was like, mom, just try this. Like, you know, she's like, I don't know, Michelle, you know, she's all about Western medicine. I'm all about Eastern medicine. So we always have a little bit of a quip there. And um, she's like, fine, I'll try your oil just to shut you up, you know? So I gave her a little bit of frankincense and I also blended it with some pan away, which is another mm -hmm. um, great uh, oil. Is it an oil blend? It's a blend. It's a blend. Yeah, another yeah. oil blend. Kind of similar to, to Deep Relief, but yeah. a couple different oils. Right, but it has a sort of menthol -y kind of um, principle to it. And so I put the two together and we put it on her hips and the next morning she woke up and she was like, I gotta admit, I feel a lot better. And I was like, see, see? <laughs> so, and my dad tried it too, because of course my dad, my dad like, has you know worked in the medical industry his whole life, and so he was really floored that he felt better the same day too. So not only great for just straight up aches and pains, but also flu kind of symptoms, you know, aches and pains. It's great for that sort of thing too. Yeah, and my last favorite thing to do with aches and pains, um, I don't take baths too often, but when I do, I uh, take like a cup of Epsom salts mm. and add a few drops of Panaway, for example, yep. or Deep Relief. Even just like peppermint or wintergreen, those oils that really have that tendency to have that strong menthol-y kind of mm -hmm. smell that really know how to penetrate the skin and um, reach those muscles to kind of 
relieve whatever ailment you might be having. Right. So that's great to do. I think you leave a few drops in there for like five to 10 minutes and then pour it into the bathtub and you get out and you kind of feel like you've been at the spa nice. all day, which is really great. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of, if you think of anything menthol -y too, you know, when it comes to pain, anything menthol -y too will be really helpful, you know, um, for something like arthritis, you definitely want something that has more of like a uh, swelling kind of an anti-swelling thing. So like a lavender or a frankincense. Um, but you always want to combine that with, you know, your deep reliefs or your peppermints, or your winter greens or your pan away, you know, just something that has the like zinger to it, you know, which is nice. Yeah. Like that coolant too. Cause you, I find this too, when I get headaches that my head gets so hot and I don't have a fever, but my head is just really warm. Mm -hmm. And when you add the peppermint, not only does it have this amazing cooling thing to it, but it just really does seem to dissipate the heat. And I remember like I used to do acupuncture a lot and my acupuncturist would talk about heat in the body and like heat being a bad thing, you know, when it's concentrated like that. And I was like, Oh, it's all starting to make sense to me. Yeah. yeah. That does make sense. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Do you guys, are there any favorite blends that anybody has that they wanted to talk about or any questions about blends? I'll tell you my favorite blend. Okay. Let's hear it. There's this blend called Digize. Oh, um, this Digize? That Digize. Um, <laughs> when I got into these oils after the whole finger incident, my before I kind of got into this and decided to get this starter kit, my sister didn't like the smell of this stuff. And it's like, here, here's an oil you can try. And it's really good for anything involving digestion in any way. Um, I like the smell of it. Some people don't. But I got home one day and I had to go out for like another seven hours. I was not feeling good. I was very bloated. Mm -hmm. I looked like I was probably about six months pregnant. It was an ugly situation. And um, I was like, well, I'm going to try this stuff. And I put uh, two to three drops in my hand with some vitamin E oil. And I just rubbed it all over my belly. Mm. My stomach was flat as a board in 20 minutes. <laughs> Like to this day, ladies, I am shocked <laughs> by how amazing this oil is. Seriously. So now I kind of keep it by my bedside if I ever have like tummy troubles to put directly, directly on. You can ingest this too, yeah, right? Yeah, I've put that in pills before. Yeah, I haven't ingested yeah. it yet. I'll just put it right on. Um, but obviously, you can ingest it as well. Yeah, I'm a big ingester. Just want to share my favorite blend. Yay. Has anyone else shared their favorite blend? Not That's yet. okay if you haven't. We'll keep we'll moving there. on. Yeah. Um, so you guys might be wondering how you would get these oils and how all of that stuff goes. Do you want to start telling them how that happened? Yeah. So we uh, both decided to, I think in a way, kind of like wipe out our medicine cabinet and just try this starter kit that Young Living has. The mm -hmm. basic starter kit comes with 11 oils. Mm -hmm. It comes with the diffuser that Michelle was showing you. It also comes with a few like additional smaller samples you could kind of carry in your purse yes. or maybe give to a friend. Yes. And uh, this newest edition of the kit has like some yeah. mini, mini bottles that you can create your own blends or just put, you know, your, your own um, lemon in there, singles, and carry it around with you really easily. And there's also a couple other samples of products that Young Living has. But the great thing about this starter kit, uh, I got mine back in March, mm -hmm. and I still have a number of those oils left mm -hmm. because, like we said, a little bit goes a long way. And the starter kit right now is uh, $160, and again, that includes all of these oils and that diffuser, and that value is about $400. Yes. So it's a great deal if you guys really are like, hey, I want to try all these different oils and see if it's you know, a good mm -hmm. fit for me. Um, you really do get a variety too. I mean, not everything that we've talked about today is in the starter kit. I would say about 80% of it is. So like, um, do we want to tell them yeah, the do tell oils them. that are in there? Yeah. So what you get, you guys is lavender, mm -hmm. peppermint, mm -hmm. lemon, mm -hmm. copaiba. We haven't talked much about, but you'll yeah. get information about mm -hmm. that. Frankincense, mm -hmm. thieves, purification, RC, digize, Oh, you can talk to in it now. Yeah. Oh, cool. And pan away. And then that extra 11th oil is kind of a surprise. 
I think. I think it is this right now it might be stress away. Yeah, right now it's stress kind away. Kind of like yeah. an, an extra oil that they have on hand that you can try. Mm -hmm. And stress away is really fun too because it has um it's also kind of good for for little aches and pains too. Um I put it on my fiance's back, you know, when he's like come home from work and he's just exhausted. And for people who are like kind of hanging around a computer like this kind of happens to your body after a while you become like this concave person and so like it's nice to use some oils like while you're massaging you know to kind of like deepen um deepen that relief you know put it in there but the the stress away has like a, a vanilla and a lime scent to it which is sounds it like a candy yeah it sounds like a really strange combination but it's actually really pleasant so. And um what's great what Michelle is doing mm -hmm. if you guys do or when you do get the starter kit uh, Michelle has a couple extra things yes, that she'll send your way. I'm going to do, um, I love diffuser necklaces. I don't have one on right now, but what I love, Kara thinks they're hilarious. I think it's awesome. <laughs> I would love to walk around just diffusing something off of my neck yeah. all day. It's the best. I actually love to wear when I travel a lot, and so I love to wear my diffuser necklace with a little bit of the thieves on it. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you're traveling, you never know. Like, like on airplanes? Yeah, totally airplanes. Yeah. You never know what you're going to pick up, and it's so nice to just sort of like, have that as this sort of in my mind it's like this thing that's like blasting the germs away from me i hope that it's doing that you know but i have been really lucky and that i haven't come home with some sort of nasty you know infestation you know yet from using the <laughs> diffuser necklace um but yeah i have uh I found a place on etsy that i just really love and i'd love to you know patronize those guys so i would love to get you a diffuser necklace from this place on etsy and uh you know and so you have a way to use your oils along with the diffuser that you get, um, you know, and all of the oils that you get and the sample bottles, you can take them on the go. Um, you can diffuse on the go. You can yeah. topical on the go. And yeah. we know this is a lot of information, you guys. Mm -hmm. So um, in addition, Michelle and I will kind of help send you some starter information right. about the oils. We have a pamphlet that kind of breaks down um, all mm -hmm. of the oils in the kit, different uses for them. Mm -hmm. You can put it up on your refrigerator. Great, That's where I have mine. Mm -hmm. And we also mentioned a snapshot that I created. That's really helpful. Super helpful. Um, but honestly, I think the best thing about kind of jumping on board with us is that we've kind of created this family. Mm -hmm. um, we're really here to help each other. We want to hear you know what you're using the oils for and share it with other people. So we do have resources through a Facebook group, a monthly email to kind of share different ways and uses that you can use these oils for. Yeah. Yeah, and it's really great to have a community of people that you can write and be like, hey guys, I have this sort of thing that's happening. Do you think the oils could help with this? And it's really great because you may not have experienced something and instead of sitting there Googling for an hour trying to figure out what the best combination is, there might be somebody out there in your community who's already used something and like, or there might be 10 people that write back and they're like, ooh, I do this, I do that, I do this. Yeah. I mean, this is how I found out about how to um, combat uh, sty. Oh. When I got my sty, I got a sty first in the Michelle. Not that. for me, though, <laughs> for the record. Um, but I went to this Facebook group, you guys. I was kind of panicked. I'd never had a sty before, and I thought maybe something could help it. And within five minutes, I had a number of responses with women telling me, try the lavender oil. And sure enough, it got rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, so you never know. You never know what people are going to tell you. And sometimes people just post things, too. They're like, ooh, I tried this, and I can't believe it worked for this, you know? And those are really helpful hints to see, too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So after this webinar, you're yeah. going to get all of these details, you guys. If mm -hmm. you do want to order and you're ready, you'll have all those instructions there. Mm -hmm. If you still have more questions, maybe you just want to try one or two and see if it's something that you really want to dive into, um, we're here to answer those questions for you and yeah. get you on the right path. Yeah. So feel free to reach out whenever you would like. And if anybody has any questions now and they want to pop in uh, real quick before we end, go for it and we will answer all those questions. Yeah. Grandma, did we answer all your questions? Hi, Grandma Charlie. No pressure for my grandma to respond <laughs> to that. Oh, the raffle, right. And just to remind, we're doing the raffle. Um, so for everybody who stayed till the end, uh, we will be raffling off a lovely bottle of grapefruit. Get excited about the grapefruit. All right, well, oh, thanks, I'm guys. Excited. And um, yeah, like we said, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me um, and we will respond and we'll send you some goodies tonight. All right, yeah. thanks so much. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.